good afternoon welcome back to the channel you join me in a warm and sunny Essex aboard this Fairline Squadron 52 we've just been out on a mini sea trial what I'm going to do now is just show you around the boat and just point out some of my favorite features this boat currently is listed for sale and if you're interested in finding out more about that then I'll leave the details in the video description at the moment I'm currently in the cockpit as you can see we've got a seating area on the transom a great place to sit down relax enjoy the view as you're motoring along uh, with a beer or two underneath this hatch you'll find a space for crew accommodation but as it's being used as storage at the moment I won't take you down there just yet as you can see we've got a sizable swim platform with the tender stowed away on there as well and if I look up you can see the passerelle uh, amidships position as well but we've got a port access gate over here and of course we've got another access gate over there on the starboard side now uh, this particular fairline is powered by twin volvo penta engines uh, and on our mini sea trial i really got to experience and witness them as they took this boat to over 30 knots it was really really impressive let's spin around now 180 degrees let me take you into the saloon and i'll take you into the accommodation areas uh, first thing we notice over here on the port side uh, is an l-shaped seating area very comfortable very cozy place to sit uh, and enjoy some downtime whilst you're surrounded by your favorite people uh, over here on the starboard side a nice big tv so you can sit back relax enjoy some telly whilst having a beer or five with your friends and family or whatever else you've got on board uh, we've got some cabinetry underneath the tv with some additional storage so check out these dials up here as well what we've we got I love these. I love these traditional dials that you find on boats like this. Uh, over here on the starboard side, we've got twin sockets, so you can plug in lamps or whatever it is you want to plug in there, laptops. And over here on the starboard side, you can see this raised area where, again, we've got another seating area uh, with a table. So a really nice dinette kind of setup over here. And I like the fact it's split over two levels as well. Uh, moving forward onto the helm position, uh, we've got a midships helm position over here uh, which is quite unusual more often than not you tend to find the helm is either on the port or the starboard side uh, over here if we have a look on the actual helm itself we've got all the controls and switches over here uh, the wipers the radar anchor lights and over here we've got the radars currently burning at the moment the Furuno radar there uh, giving us a picture of what we've got around us underneath here we've got more of the switches for the uh, electrical systems uh, water tank indicator over there uh, and over here on the left hand side we've got a VHF radio uh, moving up onto the central helm position obviously we've got a steering wheel got autopilot over here and this boat does actually have a bow thruster as well and again I saw that in use whilst we were coming alongside a uh, very powerful bow thruster I'll give you more details in terms of the stats of that uh, towards the end of the video Obviously we've got the throttle control levers for the twin Volvo Penta engines, RPM gauges over there as well as the rudder angle indicator as well. And we've got our GPS over here, chart plotter. But yeah, it's a really good position. If I sit here and show you the captain's eye view, get a great all round view of the boat. Pan all the way around there. We've just come into Essex Marina actually. So in a minute, we're gonna have a beer and talk about what we achieved on our little mini sea trial. Right, let's turn around, head back down into the dinette. I'm gonna take you down into the galley. One of the things I really like about the setup of this boat, and I'll show you that in a second, is that if you have a chef that you wanna have on board, he or she has actually got their own accommodation, and I'll show you that in a second. So we've got induction hob over here on the left-hand side, a four burner induction hob, sink with our uh, empty beer bottles, and obviously you've got a quite a decent sized fridge over here as well. But yeah, when you're down here prepping your food for your guests, you can easily dish out, hand out what it is you've cooked up. But through here is where we find the accommodation for your chef. So if you buy this boat and you've got a chef you want to take along with you, this is a nice decent sized cabin. You've got some storage over there on that bulkhead. They've even got a little sink in here as well. But yeah, very nice cabin for a chef. Obviously, I'm used to living on warships, so even to me, this is pretty luxurious. But yeah, it's a great idea. So literally, your chef can wake up in the morning, come straight out into the galley uh, without disturbing the guests and cook you up your favorite breakfast. 
Right, let's shut that door. I'll take you back up into the saloon, back up onto the dinette. Let's head forward now and I'll show you the forward accommodation. So we've got the steps that lead down to the accommodation over here on the port side. Over here on the port side, we have our first bathroom. Obviously we've got a toilet here and over there is another door that leads into the forward V-berth cabin. As you can see, a lot of storage in here. We've got a sink just aft if we spin around. Lots of headroom in here, a nice space, not cramped at all. Remember on a boat that's 52 foot LOA, but the use of space on this boat uh, is really commendable. They've done an excellent job when they designed this. And it's a shame uh, they don't make this particular 52 anymore. But yeah, there's the shower. Nice, decent sized shower. Been really well maintained, really well kept as well. Right, let's move out here into the companionway. Shut that door and open up over here. We have a starboard cabin. Again, it's a double cabin. So the boat has just come out of winterization, which is why you can see things stowed away as they are. But look, if I move over here, turn the lights on so you can see a little bit better. But yeah, there's your double berth there, obviously with all your bedding as well. Over here on the starboard side, I've got a nice vanity area really. Great place where you can just sit and get ready uh, and enjoy the view whilst also having the TV on. Let's go through here. Some more cabinetry, some hanging locker space. So yeah, there's plenty of storage space in here to bring all of your essential stuff. Let's spin around, move forward into the ensuite. Again, a very decent size ensuite. Let's turn the lights on. There we go. Lots of natural light coming through that porthole. And I've got a bidet on here as well. I haven't seen one of them for a while. Obviously the toilet, and over here we've got the sink. And then through here, we have the shower. Very decent sized shower again. But yeah, look, I'm six foot four. I'm standing up in here and I've got a couple of inches of space above my head. Okay, onwards and upwards, just come out of the ensuite, back into the companionway. Let's move forward into the uh, forward cabin, which is a V berth. So as I said earlier on in the video, the boat has just come out of its winterization period, uh, which is why you can see various bits and bobs uh, around. But yeah, it's a really nice sized V berth. You got a skylight up here, plenty of natural light coming in. Uh, that can be opened up and also you've got a porthole over there on the port side and obviously a porthole over there on the starboard side as well. Got some storage space under the berth there. Let's spin around and head aft. The engines are still running at the moment, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that bit of footage in terms of the actual engine room into this particular video and you'll be able to see that in a minute. Let's head up, back up past the dinette. Of course, this Fairline Squadron does have a flybridge, so let's go up there and have a look around. So it is quite windy, but hopefully the mic is picking up my uh, voice good enough that you can hear what I'm saying. Obviously, we've got a decent sized radar arch there, the Furuno radar on the starboard side of that. We have one of our Ray Marine antennas, another one over there on the port side as well. As you can see, if you wanted to, you can close this area off in terms of a bit of protection from the sun as it does have a canopy up here. And of course, again, we've got the midships helm position over there as well. But yeah, decent amount of space up here. You can sit over here aft, relax, enjoy the view. You can also put a table up here as well. And you see the fittings for that on the deck there. Let's come over here onto the port side, give you a little view of the helm position there. But yeah, really decent commanding view as you'd expect on a flybridge. But what about those engines? The boat is powered by twin inboard diesel engines, Volvo Penta TAM 122 EDCs with shaft drive and raw water cooling. These six cylinder engines are paired with a ZF gearbox at a 1.759 ratio. It also features an eight horsepower side power bow thruster and cruising speed ranges from between 10 to 25 knots at around 1800 RPM with a max speed of 31 knots depending on tides and sea conditions. The last service was in August 2023 and the engines have 1400 hours. It also includes SEPA fuel filters and an HFL power generator with 334 hours. <laughs> Thank you.
When it comes to some of my favourite features on board this boat, personally I love the location of the galley that we saw earlier on and the fact that if you did want to have a chef on board then he or she has their own cabin right next to the galley. Its location also means, because it's on a lower level, that the owner can carry on entertaining their guests as the chef cooks up something special. I also like the split level social areas as well, as for me it creates a clear distinction between the different social spaces on board. Plus, I also like the fact the boat does have an amidships helm position. But what are your favourite features on board this Fairline Squadron? Let me know in the comments below. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to give the video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. At the time of making and recording this video and uploading it to my YouTube channel, this boat currently is listed for sale. If you want to find out more, then make sure you follow the link in the video description. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.